In this video, we'll be installing a product that I saw that I'm a little skeptical about, but we'll see if it works or not. And that's called the Better Way by Kurt. And this is a towing scale. It connects to your OBDC port, which is your onboard diagnostics connector that all vehicles since 1996 have. And the general idea is that you can calculate the weight of the trailer by measuring the forces of acceleration. So the ODBC port will monitor shift points, engine RPM, and other parameters. There may also be an accelerometer built into the dongle as well. It's supposed to have an accuracy rate of 95%. It's not a certified CAT scale by any means, but it can certainly give you a ballpark factor for your load. With a typical trailer weight of, say, 10,000 pounds, a 5% error rate means an error of up to 500 pounds, so keep that in mind. For many vehicles, the app uses the vehicle VIN to set the parameters, and it will know from the factory what the weights are on your vehicle. And, of course, if you've added a hitch or anything like that, you'll have to compensate that by adding that as cargo. Apparently it only works with phones. So I was a little bit bummed out by the fact that it didn't work with an Android tablet. Whether or not it works with an iPad or not, that I don't know because I don't have an iPad. And apparently Betterway started out as Hall Gauge and their website is still there. It looks like an identical product and I understand that Kurt Manufacturing bought the rights to Hall Gauge and now they call it Betterway. You simply install the Betterway dongle into the onboard diagnostics port of your vehicle. When you first open Open the Better Way app, it will ask to set up your vehicle. When I started the app, it did not automatically find my vehicle VIN, which is of course your vehicle identification number. It did prompt me to manually enter it, and then found the group of vehicles that mine was part of. However, it asked me if it was a single or dual rear wheel drive. An internet connection is required to look up the VIN. Setting up the vehicle is easy if the app recognizes your VIN. You simply find a level spot on the road, then acknowledge the prompt. A level spot is defined is when you put the vehicle in neutral and it does not roll forward or backward. Now we will attempt to do a weight calibration with the truck and without the trailer. I weighed the truck and trailer a couple years ago, so I'm going to compare these results with the actual results from a scale. This test consists of accelerating from a dead stop up to 15 miles per hour in a straight line at a moderate acceleration. And we're about 7,600 pounds or so, which, as I recall, is about what it weighed two years ago. Give or take a load of fuel and the cargo on board. The next series of tests is for the pin weight of the RV. In this test, I have coupled the hitch to the truck without any weight on the truck. Then, I raise the front landing gear so the pin box of the trailer is resting totally on the truck. And we'll try that now. And the result looks to be about 2,200 pounds. That's probably pretty accurate. And the last test is a weight test with a truck and trailer together. Well, that was surprising. I didn't even hit 16,000 pounds. I contacted the technical assistance department at Kurt to find out why the trailer weight was so far off. After some discussion, they wanted me to do the manual calibration, which resulted in something like 27 pull tests. We also discussed my use of the Moride pin box and whether or not it might skew the readings. Their engineering department indicated the Moride pin box should not have any effect at all on the readings. After the manual calibration, the results were a little closer. Around 9,500 pounds for the RV, which if you add a plus or minus 5%, it is within the ballpark of what the RV should weigh. I also noticed that the acceleration was very sensitive. I could get a 500 pound difference just from the throttle differences. Kurt Tech Support did acknowledge that the throttle is a bit sensitive and that you should be using a medium throttle which is about like pulling into traffic. With the variation of the results, which one is correct? 
So my conclusion is that on one hand, it is amazing this device even works. It's kind of a cool gadget. But on the other hand, I see it as more of a novelty than anything else.